Hello and welcome to the Officers Academy. Today we will be studying world geography and our today's topic is the study of atmosphere. So here we will study about the atmosphere, its different layers, the properties of each layer. So let us start with the definition of atmosphere. What do we mean by atmosphere? Now see the surface layers of the earth. We have seen many interior layers of the earth like what is lithosphere, what is mesosphere, what is barysphere. So what is atmosphere basically? Atmosphere is nothing but the envelope of gases which surround the earth's surface. So this is what we mean by atmosphere. Now see if we see atmosphere, atmosphere itself is divided into different layers and this is what we will be studying in today's topic that is understanding the properties and the significance of different layers of atmosphere. If we look at the evolution of atmosphere, the atmosphere that we see today or the atmosphere in which we survive today, it was not the same thing. Earlier the earth was superheated. Okay, so the temperature was too high. So when it used to rain, before the raindrops, actually before falling, the atmosphere was too, too hot we can say. Before falling on the grounds, the rainfall in the air itself used to get evaporated because of this high temperature. But then because of the successive cycle of evaporation and precipitation over a period of years, the atmosphere ultimately cooled down. And the atmosphere in which we stay today or we survive today is this new layers that has been cooled down. Now if we see the chief gases or the prominent gases present in this layer of atmosphere, so they are nitrogen, oxygen, argon which is an inert gas and carbon. So these are the prominent gases present in the atmosphere. If we see water vapor, now about water vapor, 99% of the water vapor available in the entire atmosphere, 99% lies at its base, that is in the first layer troposphere, the layer in which humans or other living organisms survive, that is the base layer of the atmosphere troposphere. So, 99% of the entire water vapor available in the atmosphere is found in the layer of the troposphere. So now we will try to study the classification of the different layers of the atmosphere and their principal properties. So now we will see the classification of the different layers of atmosphere. So let us start the layers of atmosphere from its surface itself. Surface of the earth and we will see the different layers of atmosphere. The first layer being troposphere. The height of troposphere is from surface that is 0 km up to 16 km. Then comes the second layer that is the stratosphere. Stratosphere extends up to 50 km. Then comes the third layer that is the mesosphere. Okay, mesosphere extends up to 90 km. Now, the next layer is called as the thermosphere. Okay, in thermosphere, we have different bands of oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen and helium. And within the thermosphere itself lies the ionosphere. The height of thermosphere reaches up to 2600 km and above which is the exosphere. Okay, within exosphere lies the magnetosphere which reaches up to 9600 kilometers. So these are the different layers of the atmosphere. Now within them, they are classified into two types, troposphere, stratosphere and mesosphere. Together, these layers are called as homosphere. And from mesosphere up to magnetosphere, these layers are termed as heterosphere. Okay, now why this name? Homosphere and heterosphere. Within the homosphere, oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide, the quantity or amount is more than the other noble gases. And as we travel above the homosphere, the amount of noble gases in the atmosphere, they keep on increasing as, as compared to the amount of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Hence, it is termed as the heterosphere. Now, 
we will try to study the properties of each layer of the earth on which maximum questions are asked in the examination. So now let us start with the first layer of the atmosphere that is the study of troposphere. Now troposphere is the base layer of the atmosphere in which all the living organisms survive. This band is called as troposphere. Now many of the weather phenomena as well as the climatic conditions in the different layers of the or in the different regions of the earth is basically nothing but a product of troposphere. So let us try to understand the properties of troposphere. Now first property with respect to temperature is in troposphere. As height increases, what happens with the temperature? The temperature keeps on going down. This phenomena in which the height increases and the temperature falls, the rate at which the temperature falls is termed as the normal lapse rate. Abhi dhyan dijiye. You have to remember this. What do we mean by normal lapse rate? So normal lapse rate mein kya ho hai? In troposphere as the height is increasing, what is happening with the temperature? The temperature is going down or the temperature is falling. And at what rate? So what as the name suggests normal lapse rate, the fall in temperature is 0.65 degree centigrade for per 100 meter rise in height. So the temperature falls by 0.65 degree centigrade for per 100 meter rise in height and by the time we, re we reach the edge of the troposphere matlab yaha pe troposphere khatam hoga stratosphere start hoga at the edge of the tropos uh, troposphere the temperature is as good as minus 6 degree centigrade okay to ye yaad rakhna aapko normal lapse rate what is normal lapse rate 0.65 degree centigrade fall in temperature for per 100 meter rise in height next now, why the base layers of the troposphere? Why do we say that the temperature at the base of the troposphere is high? The answer lies in water vapor. Now, water vapor ka property kya hai? Water vapor absorbs the surrounding heat. So, water vapor in maximum quantity is present in the base layers. You have seen that 99% of the water vapor kaha pe hai? It is present in the troposphere and within troposphere also, water vapor is present in the base layer. So, what does this do? The back radiated heat from the earth is trapped kar deta hai, or the heat that is released from the earth's surface. So, heat the earth has stored when it is released. What does the water vapor do? The water vapor traps that heat and keeps the surface layer warmer. So, water vapor plays a very important role in keeping the troposphere warm. Now, about the height of troposphere at equator, the height is 16 kilometers. And at poles, the height is 10 kilometers. So take this in assignment, try to find out why these different ranges, why at equator the troposphere ranges from 0 to 16 kilometers and why at pole it ranges from 0 to 10 kilometers. Now secondly, troposphere is also important for us with respect to the phenomena of rainfall, that is precipitation. Why troposphere is important for us? Because highest amount of water vapor is available in the troposphere. This same water vapor condenses to form clouds and this rain bearing clouds, the name of this rain bearing clouds are yadra kese, cumulonimbus clouds. Okay, what is the property of cumulonimbus clouds or why they are different from all other grounds? Now, all other grounds, maximum of the clouds are horizontal in expanse. Okay, so if we see crowd, they get cumulus, nimbus, stratus, etc. So all these are horizontal in expanse. But when we talk about cumulonimbus clouds, now these are formed because of the convectional air current. And if we see the extent of cumulonimbus cloud, cumulonimbus clouds are large, dark grey color clouds which are vertical in their orientation. These clouds bring high rainfall along with them so they are associated with lightning thunderstorms rainfall okay so this cumulonimbus clouds are found in the troposphere layer of the atmosphere if we go to the equatorial region cumulonimbus cloud is like a daily phenomena so you can watch it occasionally in the equatorial region at times during the indian monsoon when the southwest monsoon are approaching at that time also you can see the formulation formulation of a vertical cumulonimbus clouds now vertical cumulonimbus clouds are not a very good site for aircraft for the movement of aircraft and airplane as these clouds decrease the visibility also they create a lot of air turbulence now our next question is what do we understand by this term tropopause now let's try to understand it see this each layer troposphere and stratosphere each layer is separated 
from each other so we'll just write it over here separated from each other by a transitional zone this transitional zone is termed as a pause okay now the transitional zone between troposphere and stratosphere that is this boundary region between troposphere and stratosphere this will be called as the tropopause similarly the boundary region between stratosphere and mesosphere this region this will be called as a stratopause and boundary region between meso and ano that will be called as a mesopause so what do we mean by this term pause pause is nothing but a trans a shallow transitional zone which separates different layers of atmosphere the one between troposphere and stratosphere is termed as the tropopause our next important layer of the atmosphere is stratosphere stratosphere is a layer which is exactly above the tropopause now the first property of stratosphere is what happens in stratosphere as height increases the temperature also increases so we have already seen at the edge of the tropopause here the temperature is around minus 6 degree centigrade so as we cross across this and reach the top of the stratosphere here the temperature becomes 0 degree centigrade so the temperature increases from minus 6 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade so we have understood the first property of stratosphere what is the what is the relation as height increases temperature also increases now stratosphere is one of the most important layers of atmosphere the reason being in the stratosphere lies the ozone layer Okay, ozone layer is present at the height of twenty-two kilometer from the Earth's surface. So we have seen the distance is from sixteen to fifty kilometers. At the height of twenty-two kilometer lies the ozone layer. Ozone is nothing but three molecules of oxygen coming together. So O three is equal to ozone. Now, why ozone is important? We all know. We have all studied this from the school days. Ozone protects the Earth. So if we just write over here, this layer is the ozone layer. so this ozone layer protects the earth from the harmful uv rays okay the sun rays carry three elements that is the uv rays the light spectrum and the infrared so uv rays which are harmful for the human beings because it causes skin disorders okay so the ozone layer basically protects humans from the uv rays so this is about the ozone which is present in the stratosphere now we have another ozone which is present at the, in the troposphere so remember it this way ozone present in the stratosphere useful for human beings because it protects us from the harmful uv rays the ozone which is present in the stratosphere or ozone formed in the stratosphere this ozone is termed as ground level ozone okay now remember this point ground level ozone is very harmful for the human beings it causes a respiratory disorders now ground level ozone is caused because of the pollutants reacting with sunlight remember this ground level ozone is a example of secondary pollutants so write this point in your book very well highlight it it is a example of secondary pollutants what is the difference between primary pollutants and secondary pollutants primary pollutants are the one which are formed naturally okay so once emitted they act as a pollutants but secondary pollutants are formed because of the chemical reaction between two different pollutants okay so for example primary pollutants reacting with sunlight okay so this is a kind of a photochemical reaction which causes or which leads to the formation of ground level ozone and ozone present in the troposphere harmful for human beings because it causes respiratory disorder so we have understood about the importance of ozone layer in stratosphere and how ozone the same ozone in the troposphere can be harmful for the human beings now let us try to see another examples of why ozone layer is important for humans now let us see currently what is happening with the ozone layer in the stratosphere okay we have a new concept which is called as or the new terminologies which are in use which are termed as the ozone black holes now we have to understand what do we mean by this ozone black hole so just we will just take this diagram outside surface of the earth okay this is the band of ozone layer in the troposphere so i'll just write it over here o3 o3 is protecting us from the harmful uv rays of the sun so sun rays passing and the uv rays are 
absorbed by the ozone so this is the normal concept okay this light which is reaching the energy which is reaching the earth is devoid of uv hence not harmful to the humans now see what happens because of the industrial pollution certain pollutants which are termed as ods what do we mean by ods ods is nothing but ozone depleting substances okay for example cfc chlorofluorocarbons it is a type of a ods so once emitted by this industries what happens they react with ozone layer okay and they keep on making it this broad ozone layer okay which is which is at the height of 22 kilometers they keep on eroding it so basically what happens the ozone layer becomes thinner and thinner and the more thinner it becomes its capacity to absorb the uv rays decreases so a part of uv rays manage to reach the earth surface so this thinning of ozone layer is termed as the ozone black holes okay so no such cavity is formed in the ozone okay so aisa nahi ho raha what is happening is basically only the ozone layer is getting thinned because of the industrial pollutants especially the ods ozone depleting substances thinning the ozone layer is termed as ozone black holes okay can this process be reversed answer is yes see ozone layer is self healing so if we manage to stop this industrial pollution or reduce this industrial pollution within time frame this ozone layer will cure itself and again it will get back to natural so this ozone black holes this can be reversed and for that we have to delete the or we have to reduce the industrial pollution so for this we have certain protocols or international agreement do study about montreal protocol it is under the vienna conventions montreal protocol which deals with the emission of the ozone depleting substances now recently it has been amended so also study about the kigali amendment for the same so see what changes are made in the kigali amendment with respect to the cfc and one more gas that is hfc so isme dekh lijiye what is agreed in the kigali kigali uh, amendment okay so we have seen about what do we mean by ozone black holes now let us try to see the another property of the ozone layer why it is important for us now why the stratosphere is important again for humans because it creates the best flying conditions for the aircraft so the aircrafts which are in the cruise mode the same aircraft they try to fly in the stratosphere why let us try to understand why this phenomena because see the maximum water vapor as we have seen 99% of the water vapor is present in the troposphere so the amount of water vapor in stratosphere water vapor in stratosphere this amount of water vapor is too less so if the amount of water vapor is less cloud formation is also less lesser the clouds more the visibility so that is why we say that it creates the best flying condition more visibility is beneficial for the movement of the aircraft second we see that the air movement in the stratosphere is also very weak so if there is less air or less wind movement okay so it basically does not act as the friction between the aircraft reduces it does not act as a hurdle to the speed of the aircraft if there is weak wind or the friction is less the engine power required is also less if the engine requires less power less consumption of the fuel atf consumed less that is the air turbine fuel consumed less lesser will be the price of the transportation so this weak air movement also is in the favor of the aircraft that is why we say that the stratosphere creates the best flying condition for the movement of aircraft now we will see the properties of our third layer that is the mesosphere so we try to understand why mesosphere layer is important for the earth see mesosphere here the first property of mesosphere is again as height increases what happens with the temperature the temperature falls down but as we move away from the earth surface what happens in general the temperature is increasing to a very high level if we see the temperature in the ionosphere layer it goes to about hundreds of degree centigrade in the ionosphere layer now see what happens we are studied in the first chapter about the asteroids comets and the meteoroids now about the meteoroids which are trying to fall on the surface of the earth what happens basically meteoroids are nothing but this broken pieces of rocks which are wandering in the space the smaller cut out pieces of the asteroids so when they come under the influence of earth's gravity to kya ho jayega they will try to fall on the earth surface but by the time they reach ionosphere 
here starts the process of burning because the temperature is in hundreds of degree centigrade so basically this same meteorite it starts burning in the ionosphere layer and a part of it by the time it reaches the mesosphere it has got completely converted into ash okay so what happens here in the mesosphere it forms clouds of ashes so basically if we see that in the mesosphere the meteorite or the meteor which has got completely burned got converted into ash and this ash has formed ash clouds this ash clouds in the mesosphere are called as meteoritic clouds okay so remember it this way So stay connected with us, never miss an important lecture. You might never know which examination you clear and that might be a life changing event for you. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press on the bell icon so that whenever we update or upload any important lecture, so you might get a notification for it. If you have appreciated our quality of coaching and efforts, do like our lectures. Share this video with your friends so that even they get benefited from it.